pushing myself to make this video today. October's been a pretty hard month for me so far. I was really excited for October. October's my favorite month and for some reason this month just flew by. A lot of bad things <laughs> I feel like have just been happening so I just I just need to sit down make a video because I know that this is something that I really want to do and get good at get better at because it just it's been really fun so far, even though I made two videos and dipped, so... Anyways, so, so today I'm gonna transform myself. I'm gonna be turning myself into Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. We're gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some primer. It doesn't look like she has a whole lot of eyeshadow on. Like, she just kind of threw something on all over, so... First, I'm just going to use this, the Tarte Shape Tape. But yeah, I, I apologize for not being consistent with my uploads like I'd planned to be. Depression can be a real killer of fun and motivation. But I told myself, just put on some makeup today, even if you just take it all off afterwards. I need to be productive. I just need to get myself to do it. It's really hard. It really is tough to get yourself up and doing things. Yeah, I cannot tell what her eyeshadow is doing. So I'm just gonna go in just something natural. Okay, so first I'm gonna go all over my lid with the Naked 2 from the Naked Basics palette. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into this contour palette and I'm just gonna go in with that brown color there. Just on the, the lid. The lid. The lid. I think I'm just gonna take this blush and just go on my lid just be, to add a little bit of pink since our little costume is going to be pink. Just kidding. I put that blush all over my eyelids and it wasn't as pink as I thought it was going to be. So I think I'm actually going to go in with this Rimmel eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to take the pink and add a little bit on top to make it a little bit more pink. or something was on my face. You put a little bit of this Venus in the Naked palette, just like right in the middle, and add a little bit of shimmer. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, real quick, I'm just going to draw on my eyebrows. Reese Witherspoon has some pretty natural eyebrows. So I'm just gonna go with how mine are naturally. And then we're just gonna put a bit of eyeliner on. just blacked out there for a second because I did not mean to make that eyeliner that thick but we're gonna carry on add like a little bit of this liquid highlight before I add my foundation <laughs> also a tragedy happened my ferrets got to my sponge my beauty blender so now I've been using this kabuki brush, which isn't bad. I see a lot of people using a kabuki brush and it's fine. My biggest thing is I feel like you can't always get like the little fuzzies off even when I wash it. I don't know. I still feel like I end up with like fuzzies on my face. Does anyone relate with that with brushes like this? I got mine from Target, so it's probably 
not even the best brush. Just gonna conceal underneath my eyes. Okay, and then we're just gonna go in and contour a little bit. Okay, I think that's it. I'm just gonna put on some eyelashes and then we are gonna put on hair and costume. Bam, eyelashes. So for my hair, since whenever I put my hair up, it tends to look very short, even though it looks pretty long when it's down. So I did get a ponytail that I am gonna put in. But these bangs that always seem to fall out of the ponytail, so I'm just gonna separate my bangs out and maybe I can do like a cute little side clippy moment. And then we're just gonna take our hair and put it right on the top of our heads in a high pony. Okay, and what I've learned with this ponytail is that it just looks a lot cuter if you have your hair in a bun because it's got like this mesh, something that's holding the hair. When you clip it in, it just kind of goes over your bun really nicely. And then it just gives you a little bit more volume up top. Before I put the hair in, I'm just going to take some hairspray and a little spoolie brush and I'm just going to kind of comb back my little uh, flyaway hairs here. So we're going to take this back and then take that spoolie and then just kind of comb them all back. If you need to, I'm just going to kind of help hold that back so I'm gonna add a little clip okay so now for my hair this is the Leanne I believe it's Leanne from the insert name here website the color champagne blonde i really like this one it's really like a mid-size pony i just love all of insert name here's hair shout out to all the pair it's like really good quality it brushes so nicely and if you take care of it it'll last a long time so this was that kind of mesh that i was telling you about on the inside here this is going to be what covers over your bun. So I'm going to clip this to the front and then this is for wrapping around the pony to make it all look seamless. Okay, so I'll just go like this. I just realized I probably should have changed first, but it's it's okay. Okay, and then once you have that clipped in, you'll just wrap it around your hair. That little, little strand there. It can be a little tricky. But once you got that, it's pretty, pretty easy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take 
some bobby pins. These ones came with the ponytail, so you don't really have to worry about it. It's all good to go once you get it. Oh yeah, this looks better already. Cause yeah, like I said, <laughs> I had just a ponytail the other day when I was trying this on and it did not look this good. It was like flat on top. There we go, okay. So, yep, and then she should look something like this. It's just, it's so cute. It blends so nice. Oh, just having hair just makes you feel so put together. Is that weird? <laughs> I did realize I don't have any lipstick on, so that's strange. Hold on one second. I'm just getting positions vibes. I'm supposed to look like Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> Meet your mama on Sunday. So now I just gotta get dressed and we will be back with the finished look. So guys, I think I might have popped off. <laughs> I can't stop laughing though either, so. I just got dressed, clearly but let me show you how we're looking <laughs> so i think i'm obsessed with how i did <gasps> sorry i can't stop laughing because i got this top from a pretty little thing this little corset and it's kind of a lot flimsier than i thought it was gonna be and it's a large you can clearly see that um <laughs> I am a little larger than a large in the top area, but I legit found this like little feathered boa. I cut like a little chunk of it off and just kind of like tucked it into my top. Oh, so that's why I think it's kind of funny. I can't stop laughing because I just like... <laughs> Anyways, so this look is super cute. I just found these uh, tights from Spirit Halloween and then my shoes just basic white heels that I got from like Payless. Just put on a, um, I just put on this little pink choker that I thought went really well with this outfit and my bunny ears. And I just have a bodysuit just underneath. Don't you think I forgot? I did not forget. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this. I really think this, you know, kind of helped me with my mood and that's what we needed so you know if you're in a slump do something that makes you feel cute that's my advice for today <laughs> that does it for today's video thank you for watching if you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe please let me know in the comments if there's anything you want to see me do but yeah and i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.